Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls Tabletop News with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with a brand new Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, what do you got today, man? I have Yokohama. Yokohama! Yes, it's it cool takes place in Japan. Yokohama is a city off the coast. It is. Uh, and it's basically, the city is starting to thrive, getting the industrialization going. Okay. Um, so you play as a merchant, and oh. you are trying to uh, get the riches, get the most infamy. Awesome. Um, so yeah, that's what Yokohama is. There's a lot to do, there's a lot of things you can, choices you can make and stuff okay. like that that can affect your So is this game. more like of a board game slash resource management type thing? Yeah, it's definitely resource management and a little mm. work for the placement in a way. Okay, um, but, but yeah, it's, it's very heavy on the strategy. Yeah, very I'm heavy, heavy on the strategy. I'm looking at the back of the box here and let me there's tell you. There's a lot. We'll show you in a second. A there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot going on in this game. Right on. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about this one. This, this looks like it's uh, one of those games you can really sink your teeth into. Yes, so, for uh, sure. Let's take a look inside Yokohama. All right, it's Yokohama time. Yes. Pretty cool looking box, man, I gotta say. Yeah, it's nice artwork. Here's the back. As you see, there's a lot of components to this game. Oh, yeah. Um, Had some weight to it, too. Yeah, man. a little heft. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot in here. There's a lot of stuff going on, for sure. As you can see here, too, there's a lot. But, um, I mean, the back will just show you the components, the layout, and the yeah. story behind it, so. Yeah. Let's open it up. Here we go. All right. So, first off, we have the rule book. We'll come back yeah. to that. Uh, this game is going to have a few punch outs. Quite a few. So punch -outs. we've got some coins. Now there are four resources. There are fish, um, tea. This is just a victory point. Uh, also, you're going to have uh, buildings, factories, and I, warehouses. I think these are. They look like yeah. Uh, yeah. So that each player and that's will get those. Per player, right? Yeah. Well, they'll have like different colors. Um, yeah. Okay. Like so, yellow is here. Uh, more tea. We have silk. That's another resource. Okay. Keep going. We have more silk. We have copper. Here's the green player stuff. Wow. Um, that's not a victory point. That's uh, I think a player token. Okay. Um, to for the point tracker, and then the blue player has uh, more copper exports, which can be used or imports. I'm sorry, which can be used. Um, I guess for like kind of power to okay. bank abilities yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then these are, if you flip them over, these are. Um, foreign uh what is it called investments uh, or ambassadors i guess you could say okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so here's the french one uh the oh, british yeah, yeah. ones the american ones yeah so i think that's what they're called foreign we'll find out in the world book dignitaries yeah dignitaries or something, or something like that but like a corporate yeah yeah uh these uh so the, the way this game is set out is there are different i guess districts of the city on the board okay uh, and each district does different things you can get points from each district so uh, for most districts at least uh, so right now we have the church management management board um, depending on where your spot is you'll get that many victory points at the end of the game stuff like and then that. it looks like if you're in first or second you also get some exactly yeah you get six more points or th three more points for a uh, second uh, this one here is the custom management board uh, customs management board so um, kind of same setup yeah kind of same thing then we have the laboratory and the research are they, center. Are they, by the way, are these, are these front and back or are they just... No, they're, yeah. they're only, there's only back, but they will have on the back whether or not... So like this, for How instance... How many players? Yeah, you can only bring this in if there's four players. Okay. Uh, which okay. is the maximum of players. Uh, the laboratory and research is basically where you can get cards that basically give you powers and abilities throughout right the on. game. Uh, so that's what that one does. Do, 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 do. Then we have dock management and the port management. These will also give you cards... Um, that will give you victory points uh, along with other abilities as okay. well. Okay. Basically, these are just like these are these are sections of the board where you can play stuff. Yeah. Or yeah. The we'll show you in the we'll show yeah, you in yeah. the the rule book. This is the player cards uh, where you'll have your uh, your factories and your um, uh, warehouses. warehouses and your workers. Uh, and yeah. during your turn, you can uh, use resources to get those out of your player cards so you can use ah. them. Yeah. So this is just your total amount. So it looks like if you want to add more warehouses, it's going to yeah. talk, cost you two. If you want to add more factories, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you. And you'll start yeah. off with eight workers and I think two warehouses. Um, and then this is also front and back. Okay. Uh, but I think it's the same on each side. But the point is that yeah. you have a ton of those different player cards. One yeah. each player, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can just get through yeah. it. And, yeah. But there's a ton of punch outs for this game. Oh, yeah. We're not <laughs> even we're done. We're not even done. Yeah. We not have the halfway. bank, the Chinatown. Chinatown, you can trade resources for money. Uh, church, you can do this, um, do different abilities to get more fame, infamy in the church. Canal is kind of a, uh, if you have to pass through the canal, you have to spend a coin. Okay, kind of yeah, thing. makes sense. Bank. Do, 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 do. Keep going. We have copper mine. Uh, where again, you can get copper. Resources, yeah. yeah. Customs. Um, employment agency where you can uh, get, more get more people 
keep going. We have the research center, <laughs> the laboratory. This is uh, where you can spend uh, those resources to get the cards off. So the not others. only were those uh, card things uh, uh, other areas in town, they also have these. So like, for instance, the church manager, you can get victory points. But wow, they even have other sections that are. Yeah. There's a lot going on. There is a lot you can do. Uh, like the fishing grounds, you can get some fish yeah. from. We have the port. Uh, so basically, you're gonna have all these tiles laid out. You're yeah. gonna be placing your workers, placing your uh, your resources, trying to gather them, and yeah. And then here's the scoreboard. Basically. Scoreboard. This is just how you wow. keep track, um, starting from one and then going all the way up here uh, to a hundred. Yeah. All right, now to the smaller stuff. We have <laughs> different colors, so there's, there's your four workers? different colors. Yep. There's the workers, and then you can see these little kind okay. of meeple guys. Um, these are your presidents of your, I guess, companies. Okay. Um, they're basically who you are, and as you move through, uh, you can move to different sections to be able to do different abilities in the sections. Okay. Look how many baggies. Hey, we like baggies. That's like a lot baggies. of baggies. Uh, and for good, for good reasons. reasons. A lot of punch um, Yeah, so <laughs> good baggies. Uh, let's see, we have orders uh orders are like basically uh if you complete orders you get more points okay um so you want to fulfill orders just like in a real life if someone so that's how you win right yeah you, mm -hmm. accumulating victory points yeah accumulating victory points orders are a really good way to do it uh and basically you just you do everything the card says and then you get that card as a victory point okay yeah uh and then these are just like the the, the resource cards and the laboratory yeah, yeah. cards that you're going to be putting on those other Okay, yeah. it makes sense. Then we have a catalog. And then just, catalog, just yes. for complete sake, let's go ahead. If you like to look, there's nothing in the box besides nope. the uh, divider here. So nothing else in there. So, all right, pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and cut real fast and take a look through the rules. Here are the rules for Yokohama. Let's go ahead and open them on up here. So, I mean, like every rule book, uh, overview of the game, contents, um, what you need to win, basically. Uh, this will just kind of break down every card and show you what each symbol on the cards mean. And then he has, we have the layout. Um, the layout's different for two, three, or four players. Uh, basically you're building like an upside down pyramid with a scorecard at the top. Yeah. Um, so for two players, you're gonna have four at the you know, base and so on and so forth until you get four players. Okay, um, but again, the whole point of this game is to get the most VP, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the pyramids matter though. So where, wherever your president is, uh, if someone has to pass a worker through or their president through that, that ah. section, that you have to pay that person. Okay. Uh, so for instance, if my worker was here and let's say I have an enemy, or an opponent here and they want to move there's a worker there. Okay. You have to pay to pass through. Right on. So or workers. You have to pay to get, do so the so these zones, these cards that we lay out are yeah. actually they do actually matter how yeah. you, how you get around. Okay. You, so you can see the layout. These are the long cards that we saw. They're like the, the, the kind of the tracker cards, but also the, they have the cards you can buy and stuff like right. that. Right. The smaller cards are the what you build the pyramid on the bottom, and these are the the different districts of the city. Wow. It's gonna be different every game. Yeah, because um, you're gonna shuffle yeah. and redo. Everything. Shuffle, redoing, and even if you uh, play a two player, three player game, there's cards that are not gonna be in the game. Right. Um, so it doesn't matter. Wow, that's really that's really cool. There, mm -hmm. that, there's a lot of different ways to yeah. win. Yeah, it's kind of like a different city at each time. Yeah. Um, general rules, we can skip. We can like kind of brush over those. Well, what's um, real quick? What's what does the flow of a turn look like here? If okay, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so you have two action phases, uh, which is A and C, but those are optional. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of reasons why you wouldn't take them. Yeah. Uh, but, unless you just wanted to pass. Yeah, your main action phase is the most important one. So. The placement step, movement step, area action, and then recovery step, those are all mandatory, but the four and five are optional. Okay. Um, placement step, you're placing workers uh, onto an area, and they basically add power so you can be able to get more down the tracker. Okay. So if you have four power, you get four uh, gears in this card oh, example okay. yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, your president also counts as a one as power. A worker, yeah. And then also if you have any factories or warehouses up in the top right corner, that also counts towards power. Okay. Uh, it caps out five though. So you can't have more than five power in a district. Okay. Uh, movement phase, if you want to move, uh, which you have to move your president each turn, you can't stay on the same card. Uh, you, you have to move him around and it has to go to adjacent cards. Okay. Um, so adjacent that's, is any card that's actually touch, like physically Yeah, touching. yeah. So this is like, these are all adjacent Those cards. Those three are all, yeah, yeah okay. To each other. Um, that's where it comes into where if you pass through a card that someone else is, already has a president, that's when you have to pay them one coin. Uh, area action steps, basically it's just doing the abilities to get what, uh, what resources the ca cards give yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then we have the five power bonus, which is optional, but there's no real reason not to do it unless you don't have five power in it. Right. So if you have five power in this section, you'll get that T over there. You'll get a bonus on top of what you ah. get there. 
Then there's the construction, which is also optional. That's just placing down warehouses and factories. Right, right. And then we have the recovery step, which is just cleaning up. Then you have the action uh, phases. Basically, those are like buying cards, yeah. or um, you can sell stuff at the you know the uh, Chinatown stuff like that. So okay, those so were those it's a secondary. Phases. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it, so it's it's not too much, too many steps. Um, once you get into the nitty gritty of it, the game's not too complicated. No, um, it, is, it actually, there is a lot of stuff going on, but it, it doesn't yeah. sound like it. Once you get the flow of the game going, yeah. it doesn't sound The flow good. of the game is really simple. It's just choosing what to do is what you want, yeah. is where the, the strategy comes in. I yeah, guess and then again, like we said before, there are lots of different paths to victory, yeah. so. Uh, wait, hold on, what is it called? Orders? No, these guys. Uh, well, let's keep going. Uh, game ends when there are no more orders to be placed on the board. Okay. Uh, and how it ends is you'll finish that turn and then you'll do one more turn to assure that everyone has had equal, uh, turns. equal turns. Yeah. Uh, and then for final score calculator, um, it, it, uh, there are sheets online you can print if you want to, okay, but yeah. you don't need them. You can just kind of like do it on your own. Um, country bonuses. These will go over to kind of like the, so the, the final score, there's different ways to score. Uh, like, for instance, country bonuses. If you have one of each country, you yeah. get 12 points and so on and so forth. But it, it's interesting, too, because it's, it's, you go through each one. So, like, the church bonus is mm -hmm. going to give you some customs. This is going to give you some yeah. bonus, country bonus, and et cetera. And then all of your other stuff that you scored off of. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So. And we're, yeah. And then this kind of. An example of each yeah. card. Each yeah. card and what they do. Okay. Uh, so, then, so this rule book is, again, full color. Yeah. Uh, it's. It's 18 pages or so, right? Yeah, it's not. It's 18 yeah. plus the back, which is kind of a me, quick turn summary. Excuse me. And most of the pages, like I'd say, it's what four, four to six pages of them are actually just the card description anyway. Yeah. So the rules themselves, not including the final score calculator, is like four, five, eight pages, six, seven. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like six pages. Yeah. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was, uh, okay, cool. So that's a really quick run through of the rule book uh, for Yokohama. And again, it there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. Mm -hmm. it is, I don't want to say it's not complex because there's a lot of moving parts here, but yeah. once you get into the flow of the game, it's going to start clicking for you oh, real yeah, quick. Oh sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, play times, it, yeah, it's going to go by really, really fun. So uh, yeah, let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was Yokohama from TMG. Yes. Pretty cool looking game, mm -hmm. I gotta say. Yeah. Uh, very heavy on the strategy, which oh, I yeah. appreciate. So. There's just a lot of ways to victory. Like, yeah, a lot, a lot of paths, paths you can take. Exactly. Uh, and you can, you're can you able to change your route exactly. if you need to. So Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you can kind of predict or see what your opponent's doing, yeah. you can adjust your strategy to overcome theirs, and then mm -hmm. they can readjust you. It's very much a, a, a player game. Like, you're playing mm -hmm. against the other players, not necessarily like yeah. random chance of the board. And I like the uh, simplistic artwork of yeah. The, yeah, the cards. It so, lends itself uh, to the style of the game because there's so much stuff going on. If you mm -hmm. if the artwork was like super elaborate, it oh, almost yeah. distract you. It's from, just too much. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. a lot of stuff going mm -hmm. on, but it's it's all really really cool, really well done. Uh, let's crunch the numbers on this one real okay. fast. Uh, this one is again from Team G. Yes. What's the uh, uh, player count on this one? Uh, two to four players. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Runtime is going to be around ninety minutes. Yeah. Um, Give or take. Yeah. Uh, again, experience level is going to vary. Yeah. Uh, and speed. There is a bit of a setup to this game because yeah. there's a lot of pieces, but uh, other than that, it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. And it is fourteen and up. Just yeah. again, that strategy element to it. You you got to think about if you want to have a really you know tough game uh, with your punch. You, you really got to think about what yeah. you're doing and what they're what they look like they're doing. So. Pretty cool stuff though. Uh, mm -hmm. And then what's the price point in the car? Fifty nine ninety five. Nice. Yeah, it makes sense too. This, again, ninety minutes. A lot of in the box. I mean, a lot we, of stuff. We, we talked about it earlier. It's got some heft. But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right on. So go check it out. Is this brand new? Brand new in stores right now. So go check it out. I'm Adam Mary from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragons Air Comics Fans. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Air Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.